Hey Art Snackers, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bi Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator. Happy 2019, guys, and what better way to kick off the new year than with a brand new Art Snacks box. So get ready to show off that sticker and pop open some paint bottles because this is the Art Snacks box breakdown. Welcome back to another Box Breakdown, the monthly video series where we take a closer look at some of the supplies and techniques found in the latest Art Snacks box. We do a breakdown every month here, so be sure you're subscribed and click that little bell button to be notified. So it's a new year and a new box, and I thought what better way to tackle this month's Art Snacks challenge than by sharing with you a little January tradition of mine. You might have heard of this before, but some people choose a word or a phrase of the year. This then becomes like an overarching theme or vibe that you want to take with you into the new year. While you'll see my selected word of the year in just a bit, let's go ahead and get started and dive into the January box. First up, I'm reaching for a bonus item this month, the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Heavy Mini Paper Pad by Legion Paper. And wowzers, is this paper thick. This 600 GSM, 100% cotton paper is super hefty and can handle all sorts of different media, both wet and dry. This little guy is actually what gave me the inspiration to use my word of the year for the Art Snacks Challenge. The size of this will make a perfect card to illustrate my selected word that I can then hang up in my studio or put into my sketchbook. So now I'm going to sketch directly onto the paper using two previous Art Snacks items, the Ticonderoga number no. 2 pencil and the Sumo Grip retractable eraser. So my word for 2019 is courage. I felt that it was both a strong and solid word that encompassed a lot for me both personally and creatively. And much like the great Henri Matisse once said, creativity takes courage. And what better mindset to take with me into the new year. With my sketch complete, I'm now ready to begin filling this card in. Our next item this month is not one, but two bottles of Golden Fluid Acrylics. Yes, I love golden paints. These acrylics are high quality paint made with light fast pigments. So we're talking intense and permanent bright color. Now if you're new to fluid acrylics, let me give you the 411. Yes, it's acrylic paint, but it's the viscosity that's different. Acrylic paints can be high flow, fluid, medium, or heavy body. Because this is on the liquidy side of things, expect this paint to have a thinner consistency and maybe even a bit of transparency. You can even get a sense of that by looking at the swatch on your bottle. Returning back to my word of the year, I'm gonna use this paint a few different ways. First, I'll use a wet on wet technique with the pale green to build a background. So I'm putting down some water first, then tapping in the paint. Mixing your paint with water or using water to apply it is one of the many ways to go with fluid acrylics. It also creates a cool kind of watercolor look. Once my green is all filled in and dry, I'm now gonna sketch in some abstract shapes. Then I'm gonna mix the two colors I got together to fill them all in. So while filling in all these tiny little abstract shapes and even when I was filling in that green background, I've already been using another item from this month's box. Let's take a moment now to talk about this paintbrush. This month we're getting a King Art Original Gold 9000 Series Golden Taclon Brush. This round size 2 brush has a super smooth handle and resilient bristles that really keep their shape. As you might have noticed, the size of this brush is actually perfect for this project. I'm able to navigate around my lettering and paint in details no prob. Also, be sure you check out that info card located in your box. There's a 40% off coupon code on the back. Once I've finished filling in all these abstract shapes, which I'm not gonna lie, took quite a while, I'll then add some detail with the ultramarine blue, both as a highlight on my letters and here and there on the shapes. With all of my painting complete, I'm now ready to make my word pop with a solid outline. For this, I'm grabbing our last item in this month's box, the Stabilo Sensor Black Fine Liner. We're all getting an F-tip, which is a 0.3 millimeter tip, ideal for detailing. The tip is also in a metal casing, meaning it's gonna be super sturdy and will remain consistent over long-term use. Returning back to my Art Snacks challenge, I'll use the Stabilo Fine Liner to outline the font. After an initial outline, I'll then go back through and thicken things up a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So I'd love to know, do you guys choose a word or phrase of the year? Let me know in the comments section down below, or better yet, share it over on Mix. Mix is now open for anyone who wants to join in and it's totally free. Mix is an online community for Art Snacks members and art enthusiasts. You can show what you're working on, share ideas, and even get behind the scenes sneak peeks on all things Art Snacks. Be sure to check out the link on this month's menu or in the box down below to join. And there you have it guys, the January Art Snacks box. If you're new to Art Snacks and want to start getting your monthly box, I will put a link in the description box below where you can sign up. Of course, while you're here, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe for future box breakdowns, and follow Art Snacks on social media. This has been another Art Snacks box breakdown, and I'll see you next month. Bye!